I'll just be real brief because I know all of you have had a lot of put a lot of time into this. But I tell you, I went through the same process that you're all of you are going through uh, a year and four months ago. There's nothing easy about it, but you're to be commended to each and every one of the candidates here that's willing to step up and willing to do a part in your community to make it a better community. That every single candidate that's here is a good quality candidate. There will be no bad choices. The key is, is that we need to get out there. We need to vote, go out there and, and do the one thing that you can do to help as individuals that make your community as good as we can possibly make it. There will be some tough decisions. It doesn't matter whether you're running for the school board, state senate, county commission, court systems, whatever they're going to be. These folks will have to make hard, tough decisions in the next few years. Uh, they will be, those are the candidates that's going to be doing that. These folks will be going through a lot in the next few years. You go out and support them. The way that they need your support is that they need your vote. Take the time to go do it. Vote for the candidate of your choice. And then again, let's all try to work together to make Lowndes County the best county in the state out of the 159 counties. We want to be number one. Now, we are at the bottom of the pool, but we have to scrap and we have to fight and we have to struggle to continue to try to get jobs and to get the things that's going to make this community as good as it can possibly be. You folks out there are the folks that's going to be able to do that. I thank you for your time. Thank you for your effort, especially your candidates and certainly the folks that came out that listened to your candidates tonight. So thank you very much. Tim, I thank you. Appreciate the historical society and everything. That they do.